I can't be more excited. Because let me tell y'all something. I've been looking for this car for months. And this is my brand new. Well, not really. It is 10 years old. 2013 Honda Fit Spot. So let me take you on a tour. Okay, because I got to. I gotta show you the whip. So let me start with the front. Now, I definitely, I wasn't too crazy about the, you know, the front license plates. So I was actually gonna move it and put it inside. Kinda have it displaying right there. But after seeing this, I kinda changed my mind, you know, because I guess it just depends on the type of car. Um, there's some scuffing on the headlights and shit. They're not perfect, but you know, they're fine. These are also not Honda wiper blades. These are actually aftermarket. So I will probably uh, purchase some genuine Honda blades from work. And then I can just replace the inserts. So like I said, this is the sport model. So it has the body kit and the the wheels, although I forget what size of the wheels, um, if I can see an indication as far as what the tire size is. So this is 185, 55, 16. So these are the 16 inch wheels. Um, got some fire stones on these babies. Um, I did check the tire tread. So I got eights in the front. Um, bad news is uh, the back are fives. So I'll probably change them out at some point. Not too much in a hurry. Um, you know, because tires are ridiculously expensive. Not these, though. So I forget what they call these. But I think that was an option you can get. Got the spoiler back there and shit. And then the tailgate handle was another thing too, because this is kind of, see, it's stuck and then just, oh, it doesn't open. <laughs> Hold on, maybe if I unlock it. Let me try it now. Oh boy, that's not good. <laughs> okay, yeah, we gotta get that fixed. Yeah, that was the thing when I um got the car. But fortunately, that's not a very expensive fix. It's actually pretty cheap and easy. Um, that's actually a common problem with these is that uh, the tailgate handle gets stuck because it's like rusted out. So, yeah, we gotta replace that. Again, not that big of a deal. Now, I also did do a Carfax on this and apparently this got hit in the ass twice um so in the pictures there was some scuffing on the bumper when i first saw it online but when i went up to the car it actually looked like it didn't happen at all and i didn't actually see anything you know frame wise and yeah this doesn't work so lovely and that's the side there so now let me show you the inside because I think you guys need to see the inside. Oh, this is the key. I really like these Honda keys. Door handles are really nice. I gotta apologize because, you know, with iPhone cameras, they don't uh, let you turn on the flash while you're recording. So you kind of have to stop the recording and then turn the flash on, whatever. I'm not trying to do all that. So... Um, the all season mats are actually discontinued from Honda. I did check at work earlier. So I got my Roser there, my Bulbasaur. Oh, this actually has a armrest here. And there's another armrest that goes in the center console here, but that's like 200 bucks and then I'm fine with this one. So I did get the automatic. Um, this does have the paddle shifters though, because this is a sport model. Um, and you might be thinking, why did I get an automatic? Well, the answer is simple because I actually like to do um, some more highway driving. And so I think an automatic is better suited for that. 
Um, so I like the cup holders on the sides here too, because it just makes everything convenient. So it's got 88,000 miles. I gotta put some gas in it though. But before I start it up, let me show you the rest of the car. So let me show you the engine. The battery is about two years old, which is not bad. Um, this is a 1.5 liter, so it's got 117 horsepower. Zero to 16 in probably 12 seconds. Yeah, this thing is extremely slow. But, you know, it's not all about going fast. It's all about durability, which is exactly what I look for in a car. Um, one of the common problems with these is, um, you know, spark plugs go bad. So they tend to pop out of the the cylinders and then you have to replace them. Either way, I mean, you know, spark plugs are a maintenance thing, um, which I'm probably going to do at about 100,000 miles. Um, also, every 30,000 miles, um, these things do not have hydraulic uh, lifters, if that makes sense. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, so you have to have the valves adjusted or else it starts ticking and shit and then, you know, you can ruin the engine. Um, uncommonly, though, one of the ignition coils goes bad on these, so you have to replace it. When you do replace them, always um, use the Honda coils. And then more uncommonly, you have the O2 sensor, which is all the way back there that goes bad. Um, but I mean, you know, not every fit has these problems, but, you know, they're common enough. And I mean, even then, they're not going to break your bank. It's mostly just, you know, maintenance shit. So, um, yeah, so. This is a much better hood to open than my Matrix, I'll tell you that. All right, I have to start it up. I would take it on a drive, but I gotta unload. You know, there's shit in the back. I can probably fall that up. Oh, with a part two, I guess. Starts right up. Oh yeah, another issue I should probably mention is the TPS, TPMS light is on. Um, actually don't know why, but I did look up how much it would cost me to replace the TPMS sensor. We do have some stock on my job and they're probably about like 40 bucks, which is not too bad. Um, so that's not really that much of a big deal. You know, like I said, it, it drives really good. I actually drove this uh, on 294 just now. And it drove really smooth. I mean, cruise control works, everything. I mean, this thing is fantastic. Um, I actually thought this thing had Bluetooth, but it doesn't, which is fine. Because I'm, I'm used to, like, you know, doing, uh, you know, the, the old-fashioned auxiliary. So. But one last thing I can show you is the back seat. That's the back seat there and actually these seats kind of like fold inwards so you have like a lot of room back here i mean for like storing stuff and i gotta apologize for being so dark but i'm only about five foot eight so i kind of sit you know pretty far back because i kind of like to be comfortable when i drive of course so actually i feel like i have enough room back here I mean, I can, like, lean back and, you know, still be chilling, you know, still be comfortable. I mean, there is a lot of headroom in here, too, so that's that's another big bonus. The only thing, though, is I think if you were to be taller, um, I think the back seat may not be the best. Um, I mean, the seats are nice and comfortable. I mean, they're not the most comfortable, but, you know, they're comfortable enough. <laughs> um, but for me, I mean, the seats are just fine. So, um not as roomy back here as my matrix but you know for a subcompact this is actually pretty good i think the only thing that beats it is the cyan xp i used to have one of those 
and that motherfucker was ruining your shit in the back. I don't know how in a tiny ass car they could make use of such space like that, which is amazing. Um, so and this thing is really quiet. That's the one thing I like about this car. Oh, now the trunk, the, the trunk opens. <laughs> I thought the whole time the trunk went open. This is crazy, but now it opens. So yeah, that's all my shit back there. Um, so it has a spare and everything too. Oh, and I got to show you something else. Let's hop in the passenger seat because this shit, I just, I thought it was awesome when I found this out. I didn't even notice until I got home. But check this out, G. Well, you have two like different compartments. So that's that's awesome. Sorry, I don't understand. Oh, what the fuck? I wasn't talking to you. Not talking to you. So my matrix didn't have the owner's manual because I got it from Facebook. But this has like everything. Um this early has the sticker for when it was brand new. Like dead ass. I gotta apologize for moving the camera like this. I'm trying to get the shit open. So, retail was eighteen thousand seven hundred, which I paid about twelve for this car. So, it hadn't lost its value too much, which is which is a good thing. Um, now, one thing I should mention though is I drove. I think a 2009 fit it was a base model but it was a five speed and i remember driving it and i remember the ride quality being smoother than this one because this one doesn't ride as well as the um the base model and that's because this does have uh suspension upgrades uh compared to the base model and also has paddle shifters uh and then yeah obviously i was looking here to see if it had like bluetooth and you know it doesn't but it has a, you know, it's got enough features for me. Like I said, I'm, I'm a basic kind of guy, so I don't really need a whole lot. But yeah, I just thought this was like really interesting. Like they kept all the original paperwork in here, you know, even the, the brand new sticker price. I just thought, man, that is awesome. Um, of course, I'm not going to bore you with, you know, all this crap in here. But I mean, yeah, it literally has like all you can ask for. And this was actually a one owner car believe it or not so um yeah with eighty-eight thousand miles i mean they really took good care of this thing and that's the thing man you know i'm gonna take really good care of it because i want a car that's gonna last me a long time and that's why i got this car so um yeah i mean other than that i mean i'm pretty happy with it you know um this is my first honda and the fact now that I have a Honda and me working at a Honda dealer, you know, now I can get huge discounts on parts. Not to mention that I know now where I can take my car to get all my services done. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing off. Actually, you know what? I got to move it over. But yeah, we could just shut it off for now because I am pretty hungry. So... Let me just give you a, one last look at the car. I'm going to start from the front. And I, I'm going to shut up because, you know, there are certain people who have, like, this this exterior fetish. That was a bad joke. All right. I'm going to start from the front. I'm just going to, like, slowly walk around it so you can see it. All right. Ready? And go.
Well, I think that about wraps it up. So like I said, I'm gonna move it over to this side because my neighbor parks here. And I'll probably take it for another spin um, in a little while. Like I said, I'm gonna eat something first. And then, uh, yeah. So I will catch you guys later. Hopefully I make a video if I don't forget to take you guys along on a drive with me. So we'll see. All right. Peace out, fellas.